Now you know shit's about to get real when church is referring to you by your real name instead of that nickname he gave you. Alright y'all. It's time to get real. Alright. Intro. I so I got to get my hustle on. I Yo, what's good guys? Your boy Jason JV here. And as you can tell from that intro and the title of this video, uh, yeah, uh, my man Church here has a message that he wants to, to get out to old uh, Justin. And I'm not going to lie, I gave this video a once over uh, about a few hours ago. And then, um, as you can tell, I, I just woke up, you know what I mean? So I kind of slept, um, I kind of slept out what I, what I saw, you know what I mean? So I can come into this as fresh as I can. But even, but since I technically watched this once before, this will be a review video. So without further ado, let's hear what my man Church has to say to old Justin. By like in the hey, hey. Go. All right. There we go. All right, Justin, look. i seen your apology video. Do I accept your apology? No. Am I going to give you advice? Yes. First off, the reason I don't accept your apology because nobody talks about my family and ever gets back on my good side. If any And I don't blame him. I, I'd be the same way. You talk shit about... I mean, I don't care what you say about me. You can say whatever you want about me. I don't care. But you talk about my family, right? You talk about my, my, uh, my mom, my father... You know what I'm saying, and anyone else in my family, then um, you know, then you, you'll never be back in my good graces. You know what I'm saying. I may forgive you over t over time, but that don't mean that you know things be, things between us will ever be, be the uh, same, and we will not be seen together at any social gatherings. Why? Because well, I'm probably gonna want to beat the fuck out of you, and that's real talk. Anybody ever talk shit about me, my brothers, my mama? You know, anybody in my family, it's OV. And yep. you should know that about me. And that's how I think it should be for everyone. If you and he ain't wrong about that. Like I said, I'm the same way. You got brothers like me, you know, your brother has your back no matter what. Mm -hmm. And as far as mamas go, you only got one mama. Mm -hmm. I, I can't, I'm not going to say. My man spit nothing but straight facts. You know what I'm saying? In this life, you only get one mama. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and, uh. You only get you only get one one father too. You know what I mean. So there you go. Sit here and let anybody run over my mama or say nothing about my mama. If anybody ever talks about my mama or my brothers, it's there is no rules. I don't care. I don't. Exactly. Anything goes, man. Every man for himself at that point. I don't care to get in trouble. I don't care to. I just I don't care. Mm -hmm. Am I gonna keep fucking with you? No. But I'm gonna give you some advice. So I watched your whole video. It's like sixteen. That's what I like about church, man. He, he, he a good man. Let's go. Minutes long. And in the video, I noticed that you... And old Gaggly Gacker. I, I hope you're watching this too, man, because this is what a good man looks like, all right? He, church doesn't have to tell you he's a good man. His actions tell you that. Whole video. It's like 16 minutes long. And in the video, I noticed that you still, to this day, this has been your fucking problem, bro. You beat yourself up and don't believe in yourself at all whatsoever. That whole outlook is not good, bro. It ain't good for life in general. True. You being like, oh, I, I ain't never gonna amount to nothing. I ain't never gonna be this. I'm just, I'm just a piece of shit. No. Shut the fuck up, bro. Stop. It ain't good for you. It ain't good for your health. It ain't good for your girlfriend. It ain't good for your friends. It ain't good for your family. It's good for True. nothing. If your friends that are around you, I don't know how the fuck you know Gobbleneck, but... Facts, and that and that's the thing too, Justin. I hope you you're watching this reaction video because if I can give you any advice, it'd be for you to stay clear away from old Gobbleneck. You know what I'm saying? From old Gaggly Gacker because that dude's gonna drag you down into a pit of despair. You know what I mean? So deep that it's gonna be real hard for you to dig your way out of. All right? Because um, you know, let's just say guilty by association. Let's go. You need to get away from him, obviously. Take yourself out of a... Facts. ...a position where, like, bro, if you're hanging around people who are just doing the same shit, bro, get away from them. You become the people you hang around. Facts. Like I said, it's called guilty by association. The people that you surround yourself with, you start becoming them. You know what I'm saying? You, sur you surround yourself with 
hardworking, productive people, guess what? You're going to be a hardworking, productive person. You know what I'm saying? Look at the people that that um, that um I keep in my circle in this community. You know what I'm saying? Folks like Alpha Tyler, hardworking person. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would say uh, he's definitely a, a, a positive influence on my life. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my brother Alpha Tyler, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Look at folks like like Lunatic, you know what I mean? Jewel, Blaze, you know what I'm saying? All these people in the folks at Rockwood section. There's a reason why all these people are in the folks at Rockwood section because every one of those, those people are hardworking folks, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. And they all, you know, inspire me. Let's go. Look when you're hanging out with me. You were doing stuff, dude. You, you're fucking, your hair was always done. You're always dressed nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You had dreams and aspirations of yep. what you wanted to be, where you seen yourself, you know? Like, you actually liked you. You have to like you again. Mm -hmm. The only way you end up nothing is if you don't want to be anything. Exactly. Nobody can make you something or make you nothing. Exactly. You are the only person with that decision. Plus, like I always said in past videos, right? <clears throat> when it came to certain people who are talking about, oh, Certain people are holding me back, you know what I mean? Oh, it's other people's fault that I'm not where I'm at. That, you know what I mean? Because, you know, they're, they're not giving me a chance. They're not giving me an opportunity. No, dude. The only one that's holding you back is you. You have to make your own opportunities. You have to find your way. Ain't nobody going to do it for you. That's not how this life works. So I'll tell you this, man. When I pulled up to that park that night and seen you playing in the park, Fucking cold as shit outside. I was like, what is he doing? I pulled up. You told me what was going down. You're like, man, I packed my shit. I came here from Mississippi. Uh, this dude said he had a record deal for me. It ended up being bullshit. And now I'm here, this, that, and the other. So to, so to myself, I think, well, God dang, like, he, he really must want this, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, he fucking went from there to here with nothing to do it. I mean, yeah, that would be my thinking. And if I was in a position to help somebody out, give somebody an opportunity to make something of themselves, I would have done the same thing. I would have brought them into my place. You know what I mean? And uh, brought them into the uh, studio where I go and record my shit. You know what I'm saying? So they can get their names out there. And You know what I mean, bro? Let's go. It must be some sort of passion. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I would have never brought you back to the crib, bro. I would have never been like, hey, let me help you. If I didn't see an ounce of passion or, you know what I mean? At that moment in time, the Justin who packed his bags in Mississippi and dipped out because he was coming down here to chase his dream from some dude who was telling him he could help him, that's the Justin that believed in itself. Mm -hmm. The Justin now that I seen in the apology video does not believe in himself. And I don't know why. You were doing great, bro. I mean, bro, the old days is a good song. Really? I mean, fuck, dude, look at the views. Like I said, man, old days, man, shoot, that's one of the dopest songs I've ever heard. You know what I mean? Real talk. In the old days. It's a badass song, man, I'm telling you. Which brings me to my next point. Bro, it's not over. Mm -hmm. You're acting like it's already over. You're young, bro. You could turn everything. Anybody could turn their life around at any fucking moment. And he's not wrong there. You know what? And you know what? I, I'm glad he said this because it brings up this little thing that I started doing for myself. You know what I'm saying? I started looking up like I started watching like various uh, YouTube gurus. You know what I'm saying? That be like, you know, um, helping to encourage people to you know switch their 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 negative mindset, their negative thinking into a positive thinking. And um, I started um, adapting this this little. Uh, mantra if you will that I started doing like every day I wake up you know what I tell myself every day that I wake up good things are coming my way and look where that's getting me man the the, the my the uh, numbers on my YouTube channel they're going up you know what I'm saying I'm about to hit 5k subs I'm at 49.2k subs right now I think uh when I checked the YouTube studio app on my phone it said I had 49 uh, 4,924 subs. You know what I mean? So, which caused me to believe. The more I say every day, good things are coming my way, the more I believe it because look what it's doing for my channel. You know what I'm saying? And it's not if, but when. 
when I get my own place, when I get my new car, you know what I'm saying? So I can get places and do what I need to do, take care of business, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 how I started thinking. I'm speaking things into existence. Just like church did. You know what I mean? And first and and, and before I move on, I just want to say thank you. Every single one of you 4,924 subs. Thank y'all so very much. You know what I'm saying? For subscribing to the channel and um, engaging with the videos. It really means the world. You know what I'm saying? Without you guys, I ain't shit. You know what I mean? So that's why it, it, it really means the world to me knowing full well that you guys enjoy my videos. Whether it's the, the reaction videos for like music or recently the reaction videos for these roast videos that Church has been putting out. Or just recently that, that comedic video that Fishing with Mike just put out. You know what I'm saying? I, it, it really does mean the world. You know what I mean? And you guys are the reason why I get up every day and record every day. You know what I'm saying? And, and we'll continue to do so. You know? So, yeah. Again, thank you all so very much, man. You guys are really, really making a huge, huge difference in my life for me. And I can't thank you all enough for that. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get right back into this. Whether it's goals or or drugs or anything, and I know people are like, "Oh, well, you, you always make fun of crackheads. You always make fun of people on drugs." Yes, I fucking do. Do you know how many people in my family has been on drugs? Yeah, I, I can relate. I, I have family members. You know what I'm saying? Who, at one point, have promising futures. You know what I mean? I had a cousin who was. Going to school, right? She had this, 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 this plan, right? This strategy. She was gonna go to school, get her career going before she would become a mom. You know what I'm saying? And settle down. Well, I found out weeks after she was she was talking all this good stuff, she fell into drugs, and then she dropped out of school. You know what I mean? And and I don't know. I guess she's trying to do something with her life. She's now trying to turn it around. And I hope she continues to turn it around. Don't get me wrong. But it's just that, man, I, I, I wish she would have finished school. You know what I'm saying? And because, uh, yeah, it's just a mess. I don't want to put all her business out there because really it's not my place. But, yeah, I mean, she could have she, she, she could have really made something out of herself. I haven't, I, and then her brother. You know what I mean? He had a a promising career in landscaping. You know what I mean? And um, w and was legit planning on starting up his own landscaping business. Well, drugs and alcohol changed those plans. And, um, yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. You know what I mean? And this was a, a, a cousin of mine who was also a rapper. I mean, he used to write songs all the time, and I wish I knew this a long time ago because while he was doing that, I, I would have asked him, like, hey, man, do you want to, you know, start recording some music together, you know what I mean, in the meantime, and who knows, maybe, you know, this will do something for you, but unfortunately, I, I, I was too late, you know what I mean, in finding out about all that, and, um, yeah. But anyway, let's go ahead and get back into this. There was a funeral last year for somebody in my fucking family. You know why? OD on drugs. My favorite lead singer of my favorite band of all time. Drugs. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking mean as fuck when it comes to drugs because, bro, you don't have to be on those. It's all in your fucking head. Now, I don't know your situation. I know you went through some shit and was, was on drugs for a while. But it don't mean you can't turn it around, bro. True. Like I said, you're still young. And I know they always say that people on drugs, that it has to start with them. And, you know, if people don't want to do it for themselves, they're not going to do it for anyone. But I'm encouraging if you are. I'm not, I don't know if you are anymore. But what I am saying is if you are, and if you don't want to do it for you, do it for the people around you. Facts. If you can't do it for yourself, do it for those who you love. Do it for the ones that you care about. You know what I'm saying? Your family. You know what I mean? And um, your good friends, your real friends, the ones who want you to do better, the ones who are encouraging you to do better. You know what I mean? Do 
do right by those people that you have in your corner. Do it for your girlfriend. Do it for your family. Do it for your friends. Fuck, if your friends are doing it, ditch them motherfuckers. Go get new friends. Yes. So once again, do I accept your apology? No. Are you on my shit list forever? Yes. Do I want you to fail and have a horrible life? No. I want you... And that's how a lot of people should should be. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, yeah, look. We, we had a fallout or whatever. Fine, whatever. Do, do I... Do I do I accept your apology and whatever? No. Um, th does that mean that I wish ill will on you? Does that mean I wish for you to have the worst possible life ever? No. You know what I'm saying? No. Because, you know, for me personally, I, I don't wish that kind of kind of shit on people because I believe in karma. I believe what goes around comes around. You know what I mean? If I wish something on somebody and it happens to them, odds are... It's probably going to come right back around to me, and it's going to happen to me, too. So, no, I always wish the best for everybody. I don't wish I don't wish no ill will on anybody, not even my worst enemy. You know what I'm saying? I, wa I want people to make it. I want people to be successful and have a, have a great life. Why? Because if people are living their best life, then, then, then you know what that, that keeps them from doing? Making asses out of themselves. You know what I'm saying? Being stupid. Saying stupid shit. You know what I mean? Acting a fool. There would be no reason for them to do that because they're living their best life. So therefore, I wish for that on everyone. You know what I mean? Bro, let's go. You to be the best version of you that you can be. Even yes. though you're, even though all the shit you've done. Yep. It doesn't matter. Because I non-biasedly am for the better of everybody. No matter what, I always fucking have been. When mm -hmm. people piss me off and bark at me, I bite them. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to keep biting you over and over and over and over. Right. And this is why I tell people, too, leave this dude alone. You know what I'm saying? Stop messing with him. Because church ain't no punk. He ain't no fool either, but he ain't no punk. He, he, he going to... He gonna stand up to your ass. You know what I'm saying? He, Cause he's a real one. But the point he's trying to get here is that he doesn't want to do that though, because that's that's not what he's all about. You know what I'm saying? He has bigger and better things to do with his life. He has bigger and better fish to fry. You know what I'm saying? He has bigger and better things to do with his career. Like all those things, his life, his career. That's his, that should be his sole focus, you know what I mean, on on those things. But no, you got these jackasses, though, that want to pop up out of nowhere and just keep trying to tear this man down. And it's like, why? For what? What does that do for you? It doesn't do anything for you. Except two things. Jack and shit. Let's go. I'm going to show you how bad a bite hurts. And then I'm going to tell you how to not get bit. That's just who the fuck I am. Mm-hmm. So stop downing yourself. Stop causing yourself fucking problems. Mm-hmm. Sit down. Smoke a joint. Write down everything. Sit with your girlfriend. Write down everything that you think you could change in your life to make your life better. Facts. This is probably the best advice that you can get from this man right now, Justin. You know what I'm saying? Chill the fuck out. Shut the fuck up. Go, you know, like you said, go go smoke smoke a joint, smoke a blunt, you know what I mean? Go hit the pipe, whatever it is. Go hit the piece. Make sure it's weed, though. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it's that, that, that good old cannabis and nothing else. You know what I mean? And uh, start writing shit down, dude. Write, start writing some songs again. Start And start making a list of all the things that, that, that you could change for the better and start writing down your, your uh, list of goals, your, your list of dreams, all these things that you want to achieve. Let's go. If there's anybody in your life that you feel, you know, you need, you got something to say to, write their fucking name down. Call them tomorrow and tell them whatever the fuck you got to tell them. Write the list of f fucking friends you got that are being fuck ups. Mm -hmm. Go tell them, hey, you guys are all being fuck-ups and not changing shit, so I'm not hanging out with y'all no more. 
don't hang out with them anymore. Facts. There are certain people, like I said, I don't hang out with anymore in my life. And why is that? Well, because they're either assholes, dickheads, or fuck ups. You know what I'm saying? They fell into drugs, and that's why I don't I don't hang around them anymore. And I hope, because I'm gonna share this video like I always do with all my videos. I'm gonna share this to all the platforms that all my friends, all my family are on, because I want them to hear this. You know what I'm saying? Stop being an asshole. Stop being a dickhead. All right. Stop being a fuck up. You know what I mean? Bruh. Bruh. Because it's not going to get you anywhere. You know what I mean? We we, we all could be doing things to, to better our lives. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. There's a reason why I'm on, I'm on this platform. And that's because I'm grinding right now. I'm not working right now. I don't have a job. I'm on unemployment. So rather than sit, sitting around... Over there on that sofa bed, you know, crying and bitching and moaning about, oh, I'm never going to be anything. I'm never going to be, you know, shit or whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? I don't have this. I don't have that, blah, blah, blah. No. I'm on here using this tool to my benefit. You know what I'm saying? I'm on here doing, making videos, you know what I mean, to better my life. I'm still making music to help better my life. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Because ain't nobody going to do it for me. Let's go. It's your choice whether you want to turn your life around. Mm-hmm. Nobody else can make that choice for you. Exactly. It's called... Man, I just had the word in my head. Now I'm blanking on it. It's called, you know, self-accountability. We are all, as individuals... You know what I'm saying? Responsible for our actions, for our words. And we are all responsible for our own future. You know what I'm saying? To which at any point we can turn around and make our future a whole lot better than, than, than it could possibly ever be. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, let's go. So tomorrow when you wake up, look yourself in the mirror every day. And ask yourself, do you like that person? Because it's you. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, change things until you wake up in the morning and can look in the mirror and say, you a bad motherfucker. <laughs> you a bad motherfucker. I like that, man. I like that. <clears throat> I'm going to start doing that. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm already, like I said, every day I wake up and I tell myself every day and I, and I tell myself straight from the heart every day, good things are coming my way. I'm going to take church's advice. I'm going to go in that mirror because I see that I'm doing things and I'm getting results for it. I'm, I'm going to tell myself in that mirror whenever I go in that bathroom, right? Whether I'm whether I'm going in there to, you know, do my business, take a shower or whatever, I'm going to look myself in that mirror. I'm going to tell myself, you a bad motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Look at you doing things, man. You making videos. You making music. You a bad dude. Shit, let's go. That's what you need to do. And if you don't do it for yourself, do it for everyone around you. Church man. I Facts, man. If you can't do it for yourself, do it for the ones around you. The ones who are there in your corner urging you to do better. Do it for them. Yourself, do it for everyone around you. Church man out. All right, y'all. So that was my man, Brian of Church, with to Justin from Church. So, oh yeah, here's Justin's apology video to Church. I'm not gonna watch that. I'm not gonna react to that unless you guys want me to. Uh, I'm not going to. You know what I mean? Because I mean, hey, I, I don't think it would be right. I mean, Church doesn't ex already has said he don't accept the apology, so I don't think it's really worth getting into if that's the case. But again, if you guys want to see it. And I'll, I'll react to it. You know what I mean? I'm going to go ahead and give this video a like. Because I, I, I love what, what my man was. What, what my man did here with this one. You know what I'm saying? Um, man. You really got to show that love and respect for church, man. For being being one of the most, if not the most, selfless. Selfless people out there. You know what I'm saying? Even even like with those who who burned him, right? Those who did him dirty. The fact that he took time 
out of his life to still try to help somebody who did him dirty, yo, that speaks volumes about the dude's character. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, man. All the love, all the respect for Church. I really can't wait for his new album to drop, man, because, yo, hopefully if he posts it on his channel or if it's on his topic page or whatever, then I'll, I'll definitely do a album review for my man Church. You know what I'm saying? Because, yo, dude deserves that. You know what I mean? Again, all the respect, all the love for Church. I'm with this video 100%. You know what I mean? I think, man, this was a, a solid video that he did for Justin. It was a video he didn't have to do. But the fact that he went out of his way to do it anyway, like I said, man, yo, shows just how real Church is. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. If I was wearing a, you know what? My hat's off to old boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and put this thing back on. So yeah, y'all. I'm with this 100%. Y'all are too. Uh, if you haven't seen this yet, don't worry. Link for the video will be in the description down below. So you're more than welcome to hit it up whenever you like. You can watch and listen to this on your own free time. Uninterrupted as you like. You know what I'm saying? And if you already watched it, but, but you feel like watching it again, well, you know what that, that link's going to be. You know what I'm saying? More than welcome to hit that up whenever y'all like. And so, yeah. With this one, 100%. If you guys are with this reaction, you know what I'm saying, and y'all know what to do uh, with that thumbs up down below. You know what to do with that comment section down below. Look forward to checking out y'all's feedback as I always do. And um, <clears throat> yeah, man. Um, I do have a home free reaction coming up soon. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Oh, man, I love me some home free. I know they, they just dropped a new video for a new song. So yeah, I, I really want to go hit that up. So uh, yeah, let me go ahead and finish out this uh, closing. Uh, guys, don't forget, uh, underneath the original video link, we got the link for the second channel. We also have, and then underneath that, we got um, instructions for how y'all can submit a reaction request. You know what I'm saying? I do have a blind sight cipher that my man Jimmy Juggalo done hit me up for. Shout out to my man Jimmy Juggalo. Woo woo. And, uh, <clears throat> and I also got, uh, what else? There, there was something else I wanted to hit up too. Damn, I didn't mean to forget. It'll, it'll come to me though but yeah don't forget um if you want to uh formally submit a reaction request uh feel free to peep out the instructions and proceed in a way that makes you the most comfortable no pressure either way it is all good um and don't forget underneath that we have the two store links we got spring merch store where you can get yourselves the uh, black and orange jjvt you know what i'm saying the official jjvt you can also get um the classic uh black and white like the you know the black and white logo that, that you see above me on the screen i actually have uh a t-shirt with that specific design on it and then of course i have a t-shirt um with the uh design that you see in the channel banner on both ends of the channel banner for the whole vibe line so yeah feel free to check out uh spring merch store it would mean the world if you guys could pick up an item or two you know what i'm saying no pressure just you know if you can cool if not all good no worries and also don't forget my affiliate link for Kula Hawaii CBD products. If you can pick up something from there, uh, great. If not, hey, that's all right. I mean, I get it. Um, don't forget, though, in, uh, for the Kula Hawaii, please, please use that coupon code. That really helps out the channel. Um, if you don't use that coupon code, it doesn't do anything for me. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. But again, no pressure. You know what I'm saying? If you can't support the channel financially, what do I always tell you? All good. No hard feels. Crazy times. So I get it still helping out in the long run by simply making sure you are subscribed to this channel if you're feeling what i'm doing over here and uh, make sure you got your bell notification set to all so you never miss an upload doesn't cost a single red cent but still a big help nonetheless e and that also goes for of course all the folks in the folks i rock with section as i mentioned earlier please go show the fan bam some love we we'll greatly appreciate that and uh yeah i think i nailed everything so with all that being said it is your boy jason jv so y'all take care have a blessed one Catch y'all next one, alright? Peace!